Welcome to Life Journey Show. I'm your host, Theophilus McPherson, where the show believes in the three H. We got a hope, help, and healing for your soul. Today, on my second book, uh, book two, is 10 reasons why you became a witch. 10 reasons why you became a witch. And the number one reason why you became a witch, because you follow the crowd rather than following your heart. You follow the crowd of people that say that they want to try a new thing. So the new thing is you become a witch. The second thing, you, you follow customs and tradition rather than the biblical principle. You, you follow the customs of nature and the principle of things rather than the biblical principle. Number three, you follow, you follow your mother or your father disobedient about God. It's time to follow God for yourself. Stop following your mother and father footstep. And it's time to start following God footstep. Number four. You're following the voice in your subconscious. Stop. Then listen to God's still small voice, which is love. Listen, God is love. God will not harm you. God will destroy you. See, the Bible said the devil come to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus Christ come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Number five, believing a lie rather than the truth. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by me. So you, it's time for you to stop following lies and start following the truth. Start following the way and start following the life. What is the way? The Bible says there's a way that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof is the way of truth death so you might be following the way that you think is right but at the end you're gonna be surprised and say oh my god but it'll be too late number seven thinking you are formally to your own deity instead falling the trap of the demonic forces jesus came to set the captive free jesus came to deliver you jesus came to set you free Young man, young woman that's involved in wicker witches, involved in sorcery and spell binding. Number eight, you thinking you 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 not being subject to God or to Satan. The lie you are telling yourself, two forces in this world, God and Satan. God is stronger than Satan power. Two forces of, of good and evil. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Two forces, my friend. We have the light and we have darkness. We have righteousness and we have unrighteousness. So which, whose side are you on today when you are a witch? You're not on God's side. And you're, not on, you, you're on the devil's side, but the devil have not shown his head yet. Number nine. God, once in the church, then you saw the religion was not right because the religion become very strict. I'm talking about Christianity. And you decide to walk off the church. You decide to turn your back on God. You decided to start listening to women like, like Abraham Hicks. Listen to people that they formulating their, their theories about God. And you become a witch. Because which are dominating spirit, which are controlling spirit, which is our seductive spirits. So once in the church, then you say this religion movement is not for me. So I am now a Christian witch. Or, or you might say you are Christian and you decided to be a Christian witch together. But there no such thing as a Christian witch. You either are Christian or you are witch. The Bible say, 
that you have a hot or cold but lukewarm, I'm going to spill you. I'm going to reject you out of my mouth. God is saying, you're making me sick. Number 10 reason is you consulting with a witch doctor in the neighborhood about love. They making a portion to bind this person you love. So now you are in seductive spirit now. You are being controlled because you think this person can put the person that don't love you, but you are forcing your love. And then you went to the witch doctor to conjure up your spirit. Glory to God. Conjure up a, a, a spell to bind that person together to love you. That sounds like lust. That sound like puppy love. That sound like just a portion to love you deep down. That person don't love you, but you going to a witch to tell the witch, tell me I want to get this person to love me. And the witch conjure up a portion and then they bind that person. All of a sudden they start love you. That's a witchcraft, my friend. And it's dangerous ground you are straight upon. So 10 reasons why you became a witch, part two. And people that's listening to me right now, I'm not preaching hate. I'm not preaching destruction. I'm preaching that I'm trying to help you through the grace of mercy of God. Because God is good. The devil is not good. The devil might, might be, be good to you right now. But deep down, the devil going to take his mask off and then he say, oops, you goofed. Listen, people, listen to me. Ten reasons why you became a witch. You follow the crowd rather than following your own heart. You follow customs and traditions rather than the biblical principle, which is in, in Proverbs and Psalms and the book of Revelations. It's time for you to wake up and realize it's time to serve God and not the devil. The devil might be giving you good things right now. He might be giving you a blessing, but about that blessing of the Lord make you rich and add no sorrow to it. If God going to bless you, he's not going to give you no sorrow with your blessing. So 10 reasons why you became a witch. You became a witch because you, wanna, you don't want to live holy. You became a witch because you think it's too strict not to have a boyfriend being married. You think it's too strict. You can't drink. You can't smoke. You can't do all these things. Call yourself a Christian. So what you do? You formulate another deity. And that deity become the devil. Because God wants you to be holy. God wants you to be clean. God wants you to do the right thing. Because the Bible says, if you're sold to the flesh, corruption. So I'm telling you, it's time for you to wake up and realize that this thing called witchcraft is dangerous ground. You might be having fun now. You might be having the deity of cakes and, and good cooking food and medicine when you're sick. You conjure some medicine to, to heal your body. But deep down, it's going to backfire. And you're going to say, oh my God, I should have listened to the prophet. I'm here to profit you through the word of God, through the grace of God, through the mercy of God. God love you so much that he, he, he giving you the opportunity to hear the word of God. Jesus Christ came to set the captive free. He said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto him. He wants you to, 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 to turn your back on the devil and say, come into my life, Jesus. Save me right now. I'm a sinner, need salvation. Come into my life and so I can experience your love and mercy and forgiveness. God will forgive you if you are ready in your heart. Move the heart of stone and give the heart of flesh so the word of God can penetrate in your heart. Ten reasons why you became a witch. Because you're looking at the creatures rather than creator. God is a creator. And the creatures, what are the creatures? The stars, the moon, the solar systems. Those are creatures and they are not God. 
So 10 reasons why you became a witch because one night you went outside gazing at the moon, you gazing at the star, and then the devil whispered in your ears and you decided to become a witch. But it's time for you to realize it's time for you to right thing. And the right thing is accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. It's love. Love. He said, great love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. So come, witch, and give your heart to God.